And we're back. Hello, everyone. Like I said, we're trying to give the viewers a lot of fun. Slimes! I like the slimes. Exactly, X. But realistically, I gave... I, I want you guys to have more fun with it than... Um... Simply... Are these bugs considered people, Jack? Why are you guys shoot? Where did you go? Team go. It just fucked off on me. Whatever. I don't care anymore. You can't get any more Vorcha from Omega. Garm has his own problems. You're gonna have to man up and deal with this on your own. Maybe build a beacon path. I bet those damn Vorcha are just wandering off into the fog and getting lost. Oh, probably. pop up on my screen get off anyway you let uh call you anime insane for four years and you corrected him and he gave up and just calls me potato all right that's fair i guess that explains why you like potatoes take the raw material we're lifting platinum you still call grandpa grand since you got uh, you said it once and you refused to change it yeah, I have uh, someone I raided with named uh, Vishina that uh, I call Papir because that's what I met her as. And, uh, that, that's just who she is now. She, she is Papir. And I call Wintry Shitbag because she gets upset over things that don't matter in the long run. And because she's a shitbag. That, that's also you take it into account. Oh, I don't think I'm ever gonna eat, but even take bites out of a raw potato on stream again. That was Trouble gross. Incoming. Worse than the jelly beans. Worse than most of the jelly beans, actually. Yes. We are going this way. Is some people are really sensitive to it? Like how uh, when I uh, did it on your birthday there, I, uh, you got to eat uh, sour milk. Where are the resources? Are you mining out there or standing around waiting for those warts to get smarter? Our guy on Ilium can't wait. Uh, keep the lights off forever. You keep stalling, we'll have one hell of a fight on our way in. And that would make me really angry. Uh, Lately, he's allergic to raw potato. Oh man, that's not great. There's somebody up here fighting. What we got going on over here? Oh. New victim. Kurgan charging. Fire! 
Ah, potatoes aren't too bad to buy into. Again, where the fuck did my crew go? That one just go, no! I'm trying to re need to reload. This is like the mini games. You ever play Bioshock uh, or Crimson? I never actually uh, played Bioshock, but apparently it's got similar bypass mechanics like that. I leveled up, sweet. Encountered unclassified hostile alien species. What? We fought everything on that planet before. Must they expect us to do this before we do that? In which case, alright, that makes sense. Makes a little more sense. Anyway. So yeah, Crimson, we're fighting uh, what's called the Collectors in this game. They're kidnapping human colonies. Entire human col colonies. Look at this purple planet. The common methane ammonia gas giant, Zedek, is known for the infamous Kalthor camp. Established on the ice moon of Gessus, Kalthor was the Blue Sun's hostile environment training facility, run by a cadre of former Batarian Special Intervention Unit operators. In 2168, a cluster-wide scandal broke out when it was revealed that the mortality rate of recruits sent to the camp might be as high as 18%. Investigation by Asari authorities based on Ilium uncovered group graves surrounding the facility containing the remains of several hundred recruits dating back two decades. The camp was immediately closed and the remains sent back to their worlds of origin. An inquest by the Blue Suns found the battalion commandos had used harsh training methods, but these were consistent with their own training to join the SIU. The battalions were exonerated through Cal though Calthor was shut down, and they were reassigned to other units as the Crescent Nebula is beyond the sphere of council law. No civil charges could be filed against the Blue Suns. Aren't they a criminal organization? Why do they have training facilities? Does the Mafia have a training facility? You think that- oops. Being deleted. You think that's a thing? Alright, hang on. Where's the next one? There's another one in Zilin. Okay. Alright, this planet has some cool rings, a nice color. Galen is surrounded by an extensive ring system. The inner rings are composed of pulverized nano-manufactured carbon materials, thought to be the remains of an Artheni Helium-3 mining infrastructure. The few pieces of larger debris found indicate uh, a material technology at least equal to the current galactic state of art. The outer rings uh, consist of water, ice, silicate, dust, and the odd bit of rock. Analysis of the uh, debris often shows shock damage and evidence of rapid heating. Some parahistorical uh, theorists insist that the outer rings represent the debris from a moon or moons destroyed by a mass accelerator bombardment. This has been rejected by every reputable xenoarchaeologist. While it is theoretically possible to destroy a small moon utterly with dreadnought bombardment, no species sees a compelling reason to do so. Apparently you need a compelling reason to destroy a moon now. Crimson, do you have good reasons to destroy moons? I 
Ethel is a rocky world with an atmosphere of oxygen and carbon dioxide. There are large craters scattered across its surface, obviously from hypervelocity kinetic impactors. Stretching between these locations are the shattered remains of magnetic levitation rail lines, which strongly suggest the craters represent the former locations of Earth, any mining outposts, or other settlements. The equatorial regions contain an extensive network of canyons formed by the planet's uh, abundant liquid water. Compromising, Ethel's atmosphere is approximately 41% carbon dioxide at sea level. This level is four to six times that necessary to render most species unconscious within a few minutes of breathing in. Breathing masks must be worn at all times when on the surface of Epho. Probe launched. They are in your fucking way. I mean, they're moons, so they're probably not that that, that anywhere. Nepima. Heavily locked to the star Zeline, Nepima has the uh, expected hot pole cold pole along the Terminator uh, is a thin band of nearly habitable terrain. Unfortunately, the local biosphere is uh, based on a chlorinated oxygen atmosphere. It is not sophisticated, but it has proven highly dangerous. The Asari uh, surveyor, Verilus, landed on Nepima in 1684 to, dis to study the local ecology. Unbeknownst to the crew, a handful of native chlorine fixed microbes passed through the biohazard screening and entered the ship. The Verilus returned to the port of Nos Parnalo on Ilium, where the Nepiman microbes escaped into a temperate environment with plentiful unused chlorine. The microbe devoured the chlor chlorides in the earth as metabolic by byproducts. They produced toxic polychlorinated biphenyls. Uh, by the time the infestation was contained, an area of nearly 30 square kilometers had been effectively turned into a toxic waste dump. Nos Panarlo had to be abandoned and accelerated the development of Nos Astra. Oh. Good to know. Probe launched. There you go. Alright, we're gonna enter orbit here. I have detected an anomaly. Helheim is a post-garden world that once enjoyed an Earth-like oxygen-nitrogen atmosphere. It is still blessed with plentiful water, but gen generally cold climate and extreme seasonal shifts, courtesy of a 38-degree axial tilt. Helheim is thought to be the home world of the Ar uh, Artha, a space-fearing species which disappeared approximately 300,000 years ago. Especially what happened to Helheim is still under debate. It appears a global extinction occurred, wiping out all native animal life forms more complex than zooplankton. Landforms were not affected, but the lack of oxygen-breathing life caused oxygenation in uh, the atmosphere. Plant life was reduced after lightning storms ignited global wildfires. The leading theory for Helheim's devastation is an out-of-control biological weapon. For this reason, landing is strictly prohibited. The corporations of Ilium have in place a network of quarantine satellites to dissuade what would-be looters from landing in the crumbling cities. Kind Scans have found something. Lovely detected. Mercenary activity detected inside a mining facility on planet's surface. Facility confirmed registered to El Elfville Asheville Energy Corporation. Eclipse presence confirmed. Distress beacon powered down at site. Sensors detect multiple spacefaring vessel launching from facility. Okay. So I guess we're going to clear these out today. So the whole of Mass Effect 2 is largely just um, bringing your crew together and then dealing with a couple of the, uh, uh, a bunch of side quests. Which is what we're focusing on today, 8. I think that's Grunt. Oh, we do back in again, there you go. I... And Legion. Alright. We had three points with you, so we're gonna level up your warp ammo. I think just include where uh, makes you take do 35 percent right? Brunt, you have three points, so we're gonna level up your fortification. I think this just makes it, yeah, it gives him 75 percent bonus. Uh. Legion, we're gonna put your points in things because we haven't actually done that. We're gonna make him a Geth Assassin, because like the weapon damage is more important than the HP, I think. Alright. 
We're gonna make his. We made the, um, the other one an attack drone for Tally, so we're gonna make this one an explosive droid drone. And we have access to both. There you go. Okay. Little did we know we just landed on Earth in the Nevada desert. Crimson, do you typically like games like this? Like, have you played Dragon Age? If not, that's another series I think you'd, you'd enjoy. If you like RPGs, of course. Which I know you do. Cargo ship Terra Allen. Terra Allen docked and received a large shipment of resources en route to a facility in Dranic System. Terra Allen requested an escort for the shipment, claiming pirate activity along the route. Okay. Alright, alright. I just want you guys to know that Wintrig hates RPGs. That said, guys. Wintrigue needs to play Rocket Slam 3, but she also, she's also got to play Outlast. I am? Moving to cover. Oh. You're dead. Feel the blood rage. Weakening their integrity! <laughs> Eclipse forever! <laughs> Those sounds she's making. <laughs> Damn, she shattered. Holy fire. <laughs> Axe with the resub! Engaging hostile! Alright. X with the resub! X! You get the last bean! This bean is probably horrible. The yellow one. I don't know what yellow is. Oh! It's yeah, it's it's lemon. Okay, I approve. But luckily for you, I have another box. Thankfully, it's not cat pest. That'd be horrible. You think making people eat cat piss would be, uh... Alright. At least the, something that flavored like cat piss? <laughs> nah. Nah. Well, yeah, she would. She'd eat it and be like, huh, this is nothing like the real thing. You can test out the authenticity of piss with your own cat. Ugh. I see. You're right, though. We are we are under mercenary attack. Escort civilians to crew quarters, then return to the work area to protect the main computer at all costs. My little cat is laying in her cat bed right now. The sun's like directly on it.
Crimson. In this game, they got two types of barriers. They got uh, shields, which are um, you have abilities that are strong right. against. Now you're dead. This is a bean boozle challenge, but make authentic bad tastes. What do you mean? Oh God, no. no. Uh, ready for next target. Oh, I, I couldn't do that. That's one challenge that I would have to not do. On my screen. Successful headshot. Here we are, young earthworm. Go outside. All right, we gotta hack this mainframe. This is it. One's got a green line of text at the bottom of the wall. We did it! Encrypted data. Location of last report, Carolina encrypted. Encrypted. Feel the blood rage! Legion got fucking destroyed there. That's an interesting idea, though. Feel the blood rage. Might actually be too far away. Taking hits. Target on fire. There's also uh, no strict magic in this game per se. It's biotic ability, which is kind of like magic. Taking hits. Nothing can hurt me. I oh, did hit her. Target contact. Oh, man, I'm Good? We good. Oh, I ran out of ammo on that gun. That really ever happens. The decrypted data is complete. Further details are required to trace Tur, Allen, Tur Allen's location. The data has been sent to Cerberus for further analysis. I'm not gonna do that. There's still stuff to do here, isn't it? It's not. Magic is just technology you don't understand. You always think about when you use a TV remote that you're. What? Why? What happened? Why did I just randomly die? Basically casting a heat ray on a very small scale. Yeah. Time to die. Good, I get to redo this. I really wanted to redo this. I am Krogan! <sighs> <sighs> I, I, don't, I don't know why I just died. Feel 
My nemesis is loading screens. I just fucking died in a loading screen. That's a thing that just happened. Grenade Nuke, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Jump Club. Got a pretty great community, so if this is, uh... But now it's not letting me just exit the mission. Oh, there you go. We got a pretty great community, so if you like the chat, this is a good place to be. Um, we look forward to getting to know you as usual. We play a lot of RPGs. Now, uh, story tends to be the focus of my stream. Uh, even though we're doing side stuff right now, it's still story. Recover data referring to Tur Allen's location. More decryption needed. 125 VXP. We just got fucking killed. <laughs> I just got fucking killed by a by a loading screen. I'm so mad. <laughs> this game hates me if it's not rocket drones, it's loading screens. <laughs> yeah, Crimson, I I just finished the mission. I pressed F to summon uh, to go back to the Normandy and it was like you died. I'm like, "What? Why?" So fucking weird. Right now, uh grenade we are looking for um Missions that are not uh, readily available without scanning. So what I'm doing is I got a list up of where they all are so that we can get them out of the way because we're very close to the end of the game. West Milky Way, born and raised in a mission where I spent most of my play. When a couple of loads were up to no good, starting to make my missions quickly fail. <laughs> ah. That's so frustrating. All right, we gotta go to the Eagle Nebula. Oh, hang on, we gotta go to the Strike Abyss because we gotta destroy the Blood Pack base. You enjoyed it, more death, please. Well, I mean, it's inevitable. I'm playing Mass Effect, guys. I'm gonna die a lot, most likely. What's this planet? Chris, what are your thoughts on planets? Like, what do you think of space games? Tayoma, hello, you missed it. We just got killed by a loading screen. A Jovian gas giant, Van Mosca, Weeping Witness in Hyperion Volus, is a low-density hydrogen and helium planet with 35 moons. Later this year, 33 of the moons will be visible from the planet's surface in a, in a conjunction, an event that will be recorded by space probes from all over the galaxy. Probe away. Have I done the DLCs yet? Uh, what are all the DLCs? I've done Casimis, I've done... The rescuing of Dr. Kenson, and we did, um, we did, uh, Shadow Broker, yes, that one. So, 
Crimson, when you're on the space thing, you can just fly around and read what they got on each of the, uh, the uh, uh, planets. It's, it's basically just a little bit of lore about the universe for each planet and some of the uh, ways that uh, races work on them. Lyra gave me a bit of shit, yeah. The sister tragedy to the... Uh, the sister tragedy to the extinction event on Aphris, Tosal Nim was the rarest of jewels, a second garden planet with the same life zone as Aphris. Not as old as its sister planet, its fossil evidence indicates it was home to an abundant invertebrate sea life. However, similar craters to those on Aphris created a dust shroud that killed 90% of the biota on the planet, and even spacing of the craters indicates a coordinated simultaneous attack from points across the, around the globe rather than an asteroid collision or super uh, volcanic scenario. Yeah, I really enjoyed the Shadow Worker DLC. See, I never got to do any of the DLC when I uh, first played this. Ah, uh, so this is all new for me when I when I do them on stream. Uh, another weird thing to do with Crimson is you could scan them for um, for um, materials, which you can use to upgrade your stuff. A unique discovery: Avaris is a heavenly twin, a planet in a star system that has not one but two worlds of sufficient mass to retain a nitrogen and oxygen atmosphere within the habitable life zone of its parent star. Fossil evidence shows abundant vertebrates and evidence of a sapient terrestrial avian species in its bronotage. However, the only trace of contemporary life on the planet is that of a single-celled organism in its sea. All else has suffered from an extinction event, a series of massive impacts that vaporized vast quantities of water and lofted dust into the atmosphere. Early theories that this event was a collision with a fragmented asteroid have now been discounted. The impact craters are aimed directly at habitational centers. But yeah, you can scan like this and uh, see it's going to give me a whole bunch of iridium and palladium. Probe launched. Which you can then use to upgrade your uh, your, your guns and such, uh, if you have the uh, blueprint upgrade. And sometimes there will be anomalies which will lead you to quests. Scans show a crude base established on the planet's surface. Communications match known blood pack mercenary protocols. Numerous life signs matching Vorcha. Genealogy detected. The base materials resource match our weapon data on uh, weapons manufacturing components. 